good old days. Remember the good old days, man? Days where we didn't have to worry about a civil war. The days when music was in different. When it's two goats. Cheers. Let me, let me sip to that. Cheers to that. Cheers, man. But now we choose choosing sides. We don't like your future, man. Please. We riding with Drizzy Drake. Drizzy. Drizzy Drake. Okay. Cool. Pull up. Party on shut down. Get out. We in it for my own. That's the model. 22 chrome for Giados. Baby, I'm dripping better liquor at the bottom. She want the kid or total to swallow. Follow the leader, so you better follow. Step out on line, we giving them hollers. You dig? Chin with the kilo. Diamonds, I said I feel like amigo. Manny like clay. We give him the bar, he shoot from the bay. I'm really the man. Voice of the range, you really the pants. Bad as you ten, better bring all the friends. I'm with the gang. And we- so for the people who don't, people who don't know, Casper. <laughs> We'll give you a quick explanation of what's been going on you know, in the music industry. All, before before we get there, welcome back to a Brody's Lane episode. Ooh, is this, uh, yeah. I like this little theme you got going on. Yeah. Today. Good, to, good to have Today you guys. Today we're going to be speaking on our voices like this. Sorry guys, we're just going to add a little... <laughs> <laughs> theatrics. <laughs> the theatrics. Uh, Today, huh. welcome back to the Brody's Lane. We don't have to talk like that just because... No, I'm saying, I think that... <laughs> I think just, just because uh, the setup looks like that doesn't mean that what do you we mean? need to change our energy. Yeah. The energy can stay the same. Very, what do you mean? But welcome back to another Bodies Land episode. We back. We're here with a whole episode different setup. Seven. Jeez. Episode seven? Guys, already? man, five more and that's the end for season two. Oh, we're banging through this, But uh, how was how's your weekend, man? My weekend was good. We won a championship this past this, this past week. Beat us by like six. Congrats, man! Thanks, man. Big Fi- thing. Finally got one. The last one was in 2020. Shout yeah. out! Shout out the head of honchos. Let's I told go. you guys I'll give them a shout out. Yeah, shout out to head of honchos. Let's go. Who's yeah, on the like, team? My guys: Matud, Harshin, Janat, Amar, Bilal, Keith. Shout out to my boy Keith. This guy forgot to rush. Arish, Arish, Arish. Let's go. Shout out to my boy Matud as well. Yeah, yeah. Mark Shin. Okay. Very, very good team. By the time you remember the whole team, let us know. Yeah. Top, uh, top. How about you, man? Great how's, your, how's your weekend? Anything special? Yeah, it was good. I'm just, I'm just trying to find some flights so we can all fly out. He's, he's been uh, hardcore he's been looking into flights. You've been messaging me, calling me at like two a.m. and stuff. Yeah, like I, you I didn't want to fly out, but yeah, out. that put us back on, uh, on a flying mode. Yeah. Uh, but shout out to my, to my cousin Janat. Just got married today. No. Oh. that wedding. Congratulations to you. Oh, is that, is that where you went today? Yeah, yeah. And uh, shout out to my cousin Praveen, Praveen Mortgages. He asked yeah. me to give him a shout out. There, here it is. Yeah. Uh, shout out Janat and Praveen. Love y'all. I don't know who you guys are, but. Jeez, love. my cousin still. <laughs> yeah, but, shout out to your cousin but, Janat and Praveen. <laughs> shout out. Let's go. Let's go right into uh, the, the hot topic about. right now. Man, we talking <laughs> hot. <laughs> we talking <laughs> civil war. He might get drafted into this. Jeez. Yeah, I think he's like on the first ballot right now. Yo, um, he's, he's front line. Yeah, yeah. Me. yeah, I heard you booked a ticket to Atlanta. <laughs> uh, Yo, I heard you. Yet, the, but I would love to. I heard you booked a ticket to Atlanta to go try to kill Future. <laughs> no, definitely not. Yeah. Would you kill Future for Drake? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Don't lie. No, I wouldn't kill anybody. Unlimited for anybody. supply of Ovio gear. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I don't know if you guys have been hearing. There's a whole big civil war going on. Drake versus Future, Metro Boomin, J. Cole. Kendrick. Kendrick. Now Nav's in it. Rick Ross. Yo, like people are choosing Travis sides. Scott. Yeah, the industry's yo, hot. Yo, Rick Ross too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yo, everyone's been going yeah. after him. Yo, the industry's hot right now, man. But but when you're the GOAT, people are going to come at you. Yeah. You know, that's, that's Fact, how it's when, done. When, yeah. when you have the throne, fam, they're going to try yeah. to dethrone you. That's right. Everyone swings for the top, man. They don't swing for the bottom. Well, let's no Diddy, no Diddy. No Diddy, no Diddy. <laughs> Pause. Pause. No Diddy. So no, no Diddy. Diddy is the replacement for Pause now? Yeah. Apparently. That's a, that's a new thing. Well, I don't really <laughs> care to use no, no Diddy. I'm that's, use that sounds so mad No Diddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, is there a reason why you're putting your glass in front of me? Keep it next yeah, to you. Because, uh, you know, it's like this. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys listen to the track? Where Kendrick jumped on? So I was kind of I was kind of shocked when I first heard the line. Yeah. Yo, Did you call I'm, Drake right away? Yo. What do you say? F big three? It's big yeah, me? Yeah, it's big me. Yeah. And he's like, oh, two switches, you need three or something like that. Like, bring, bring three switches. I mean, I mean, Kendrick is, is that guy, though. He's the, yo, he's, he, he's that guy. Yeah. Kind of. 
Yeah. I feel like he's on and off the scene, fam. Yeah. When was no, the last time you guys heard about no, him? No, but the thing is, he's on and off the scene for a reason. Yeah. That's the way he keeps himself yeah. relevant. Yeah. He doesn't have to drop music every exactly. year. Yeah. That's so whenever he drops, exactly. it's exclusive. When's the last time he dropped an album? I don't remember. Yeah. And the second he dropped two lines, look, he's yeah. the hottest topic around the block right now. I, I think it's more so future than Kendrick, but Kendrick yeah. did bother. Yeah. yeah, but... But Kendrick came for heads, bro. Yeah, but... That's why. Like, that's right. He came yeah, for heads. Yeah. He didn't... He, he wasn't like, you know, yeah. low-key about it. Yeah. He was high-key about it. Yeah. He knows but, who he's coming for. Yeah. And yeah, if you really think about he it... He wasn't throwing... Like, yeah. Yeah. He wasn't throwing... Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. going right he at was him. He's going right at him. And the thing is, when's the last time you heard Future? Yeah. Mm. When's the last time... When Drake put him on. Yeah. When Drake put him on. Honestly... Yeah. After Drake Future, I don't listen to fam. The few the only songs to Future since yeah. yeah, like the only songs I've ever listened to with Future was with Drake. Yeah, and before like March Madness, Percocet. No, I. You never listened to those. Tracks? Yeah, no, no, those are fire. Those are fire. Like but Percocet, still. but yeah. Molly Percocet, yeah. but those ones are like hype tracks, but not really like music. Music, yeah. you know what I mean. My no. thing around the whole situation is like, yo, Drake and Cole never like dissed any of these guys like that, like openly and yeah, publicly. No, yeah, yeah. no but for them there to, is, fam. There is, but like, for them to like other tracks, really. Yeah, like Drake was saying some crazy shit. Well, like subliminally, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was watching some videos. I don't know. Yeah. I wish I could remember, but it was something about... So you're watching about, the videos and you still don't know? Something about like someone's album. No, no, he said something like... Well, like guys, the guys are salty or blah blah. I'll, I'll find oh, wow. it. Yeah. He must have been dissed. Yeah. The guy was salty. No, like no, I never, no, heard, it, no, I never but, heard of like Cole no. and Drake dissing any yeah, of these guys. It. It's more show of a shout out. Like you know how J. Cole yeah. always shouts out... Yeah. Kendrick all the time. So now we got we got Drake and Kendrick on one side. No, no. sorry, Drake and J Cole. Drake and J Cole. And who stuff. else is on that side right now? Pretty much all of. That's it. And uh, Lil Yachty. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know. see any other big names on that yeah, side. But know. the fact that Rick Ross went the other yeah. way, I'm kind of shook. Still. Yeah. Now I'm like, so I'm those not, two but got Rick banger Ross. together. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. No, but Rick so Ross already Rick had Ross issues. Jumped, but uh, Meek Mills is still on Drake's side. That's so what that's, that's what I was weird. gonna say. I'm like, because Rick Ross owns Maybach Music, yeah. and Meek Mill is affiliated yeah. with that. So like, you would think. Yeah, but Meek but you Mill... also gotta take in like, Meek can't give body to get. No, no, he can't. He yeah. can't. So he yeah. knows he has to pick and, wisely. And yeah. honestly, yeah. like, Drake hasn't lost yet, yeah. and I don't think he's gonna lose now. Yeah. But I also feel like there's a lot of guys, fam, that are sub that are picking sides that are low key salty at Drake. Yeah. But had did not have any power to say it right. Yeah. Like Nav. Yeah. Like who the f- is Nav, fam? What is he gonna really do? He 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 was kind of like quiet, and then as soon as he saw the opportunity to jump ship, he did it. Yeah. Because a lot of these fam, it has to take all these guys together yeah. for Drake and Cole. Yeah. If you really take it in, those guys are like yeah, Kobe the, and Shaq. Yeah, fam. pretty much they're on top of so, the game. But right. I don't think Drake's gonna lose all in all. You know what I was thinking? Like if Drake and Cole jumped on a track together to diss diss them all back, that yeah. would be. Uh, I like this for the industry though. It's we needed it. Yeah. We needed it. We haven't it had it, of, it since dead, the, the last Drake beef. Yeah. It's it was, been kind of like everyone's been doing their own thing. Exactly. The last Drake really beef had. also kind of put not not the pusher one, but the Meek Mill one is that put Drake like over the top. To you got nominated for a Grammy for this track, bro. Yeah. Come on, that's that's right. Like, that's amazing. That's actually right. But speaking of like all these artists being name dropped right now, what's a song or an album? That you feel like, yo, every time you listen to, like, you knew that it was kind of, like, ahead of its time. Could be a song, could be an album. A song for me was by Drake. Yeah. Take Care. Bro, that's not a song, that's but that's the album. <laughs> oh, sorry, an album. For me. I'm so dumb. That's what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, take Care album bad. was yeah, legendary. Like, I, think I meant to say yeah. album, but yeah. Yeah. but Take Care was, like, ahead of its Bro, time. Bro, there's no skips on that album. Yeah. yeah. You can't skip. You won't you skip one You skip song. on that album. Yeah. You drink. Take care, take care, and, and take even, care of his death. Even the album that Drake dropped. It's tough to say Drake album though, because yo, all his albums are timeless. I don't like, know. Yeah, like, no, no, but I'll tell you they were what, all timeless. Yeah, yo, I'll tell you, there was one where, where tough, he was man. making um, musics, like techno musics. Do you guys remember? Was it Honestly Nevermind? Honestly Nevermind. Yeah. Like, is it the one where he was making, like... Like, yeah, yeah. EDM type... EDM like, stuff you'll hear. That was like, ahead of time. Europe. Yeah. Because when he first put dropped the album, everyone was dissing him. Yeah. Like, what are we listening to Drake's done? While yeah. give it like two, three weeks? spent their time dissing him here. Yeah. And Europe was bumping to that. Yeah. 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 All summer. Yeah. So he was ahead of his time, once again. Uh, anything for you that you could think of? It doesn't have to be Drake. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Party Next Door, man. Yeah, Party, party Next, Next Door. Was a goat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Party Party Mobile was pretty fire. I wasn't really. But what happened to Party Next Door, fam? Uh, he's just he's in he's in the OVO like lab right now. I he feel is, like he's just making music right now. Like he just dropped been, the track recently. It seems like he's been eating a lot. 
Yeah. Yeah. He, he get, I feel like he was dealing with a lot of like mental health issues. Oh, and was stuff he? Too. Oh, yeah. okay. But like now, I feel like he's well, on the path to like talent wise. Yo, no one. He's a genius. He's a genius. He's a genius. He's a I don't. Genius. I don't mess with Party Next Door, man. Yeah, Party Next Door. No? Kyrie Irving. Oh. No, you know Team Kalani, Team, Team Kalani. Yo, yeah. Yeah. Yo, fam. But besides the party, party mobile. Um, one track, obviously, I'm gonna say this Drake track that like you know, but like yeah. not a lot of people know. Yeah. Do not disturb. Do not disturb. Mm. Come on, bro. Me. That's yeah. every time you're driving home, you play it, that. That's yeah. timeless. It was, it was a thing. Like even when I drop stories on IG, I always yeah. use that track. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now Loki, I see everyone using it yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. People were. You probably started before. that trend. Yeah. Okay, I don't know about yeah. that. He, he wants us to tell you, yeah, tell yeah. you, Ruben, you started it, bro. You started it. Yeah, yeah. uh, but yeah, man, do not nope. describe it as a, as a five. It goes put anything and everything you do. Oh, this is mad random, but I just yeah. thought of this because I said, if you know, you know. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have been seeing like J Lo trending recently Four? because there's a video of her sitting like in her little gym and her hair is all messed up. And she's like, oh my God, my hair is all messed up. Like, I remember this. Like when I used to be back in the block with no Diddy. No, no, she's yeah. like when I used to be from, Jenny the, from the block. No, no, yeah, she's like basically I used to be like I'm this. Still Jenny from the block. No, she was no. You guys gotta let me finish. Can I finish my sentence? <laughs> <laughs> no, fam. She was like with his hair. She's like, oh, like I used to remember how I used to be this crazy running up and down the block, and then like people are like they're like, bro, you're like you're worth like forty four hundred million dollars. Yeah, why so? Like you were never from the hood. Like yeah. she went to like a Catholic. She was from the hood, though. No, she wasn't, fam. Okay. They asked her. So listen to this. Yo, they, yo, you she see, lived in the same neighborhood. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, yo, fam, they're actually, like, there's a whole trend going on making fun of her. They're like, yo, what's New York's favorite saying? She's like, fuck you. <laughs> then they asked her. They're like, what's your favorite sound? Like, what's your favorite street food that you get? She's like, ham and cheese and orange drink. If you know, you know. And then everyone in New York is going crazy. Roasting. Ham and cheese? Yeah, like, what exactly. They're like, yo, you she were... She asked like, for it. You would yeah. say chopped cheese. Yeah, and then a girl that actually went to high school from with her yeah. came out and was like, yo, we went to the same school. Like, we know how you were. Like, you were never a girl from the block. No, like, she's cloud chasing stuff. So. You know? No, that so that's what people are trying to say. She's like, a gated community, she's, shorty. They're like, no, they're like... She's not, man, guys. Yo, she lived in, like, a good area. Yeah, Who cares? But it's J-Lo at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah it is J-Lo. J-Lo, 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 J-Lo's a goat. J-Lo's a goat. Yeah. Regardless goat of what, throat, era, what age. Jeez. So, I know we don't fuck with future. Yeah. But... You guys know it's March Madness. I don't know if you guys have been catching some of the games. Kentucky, man, what happened? Dude, these guys are shaking. Loki, I was kind of sad because a lot of upsets, man. A lot of Bro, upsets. Bro, if you pick Kentucky and that was part of your bracket, your bracket yeah. is fried. Kentucky's been trash for like the past three, four years now. Calipari, the last time he won, he had Anthony Davis. Who else was on the team? Did you say Tyler Perry? No, no, he said Calamari. Calipari. Calipari. John Calipari. <laughs> John Calamari. Um, oh, yeah, the last time he won, he had like. Like all the number one draft picks, right. superstar he lineup. I think he's gonna get fired. Like, I think he's done. Nah, you can't fire him. Yo, no, he produces you, NBA talent all the time. They're not gonna. He's a gotta, piece of Kentucky. Yeah, like you gotta also take in like fam. They don't have the same amount of talent anymore. Yeah. Like, they don't. He's, he's going off with rookies that That's, don't. That there's no more Anthony Davis, John yeah, Wall, yeah. Eric Bledsoe. Booker. None of those guys. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, not there's there. There's no those guys. It's like yeah, it goes to that Drake meme where he's sitting there by himself because everyone left. Yeah. And they haven't really had talent. <laughs> yeah, they haven't had. I think John Wall was the last one from that. No, who was the last? What. Anthony Davis. I think they did. No, he wasn't the last one. Oh, Booker, I think. Booker, no. Booker, have, and those Booker may have been the last one. No, there's someone else most more recent. Yeah. Shea, Shea came out of Kentucky. Oh, Shea oh, came out of Kentucky. No too. way. Yeah, yeah, he did. Shea yeah, but Shea Kentucky. came out of Kentucky not being a guy like that. Yeah. He would know. He was still the guy, bro. No, he uh-huh. was. Not. He was a guy on that team. Yeah, but he didn't come into, into the NBA. Into the NBA as a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if he, if he, he had some NBA glimpse with the Clippers. Yeah, yeah but... But you can also it. say the same thing because Bo- Booker came out the bench for Kentucky and yeah. look at him now. But Shea, 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 Shea better, better get MVP, though. The Cunningham yeah. that comes off the bench? You think Shea MVP? No. Yeah. He's I think definitely, so. he's definitely he's top good. three. He has to be top three. Top two? The, the way they're moving right now. Yeah. The, if, they end up, if they end up first seed, I would give it to Shea. You're averaging 30. Yeah. Oh, Shea balling, balling. Holy. He's hooping. Who's your picks for the finals or to take it? To take March Madness? Yeah. Mm, I'm I'm gonna go UConn. UConn. Yeah. Jeez. They got eliminated yesterday. Huh? No, no, no. They're still. Like, this no, guy fam. said they got no, no, no. eliminated. <laughs> eliminated. This guy said they got no, eliminated. They, out. they just got eliminated yesterday. No, 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 no. They didn't play. They're playing today. I'm joking. Yeah, <laughs> I went to see if you was that. Don't do that. Yo, honestly, fam. You're not watching it like. I think the Kentucky <laughs> yeah. fried chicken motherfuckers. 
need to. Nah, you don't watch college ball like that, though. I don't watch college ball like that. Yeah, but UNC's taking it. But there's a lot of Cinderella stories that yeah. that kind of keep up, like yeah, that those, white guy. Those are the best stories. Yeah. The white guy from Oakland. Oakland. From Oakland is going yeah, crazy. He's, he's killing it. He's like a 40 year old man. Yeah. But what about that Japanese kid? Is, is he still? Yeah, he was on Nebraska. They lost. They lost. They lost They're in the out. second round. I think. He's nice though. Yeah, they he's call him shooter, the Japanese stuff. Japanese Japanese Curry. Right Jeez. There. Uh, but yeah, there's a couple guys like that, the sleepers too, like NC State's in there. Yeah. He plays, you remember? Yeah, yeah. Um, Zebo. Zebo. There's another guy like that, kind of like now. He's left handed too. Oh. Finesse around the rim, can Z- pass. Zebo was the guy that said, I bully bullies. I bully bullies. Yeah. I bully bullies. Bullies, bullies, bullies yeah, get your bullied. Me- your memory elites. Jeez, memory elite. Crazy. Memory elite. Uh, but Phoenix, Suns, they made a major move. Talk to us. Brought someone back. Yeah. I see Thomas. Jeez. Yeah. Has he even been doing noise like that? He hasn't been making that much noise, but yeah, because he hasn't really had minutes. But it's, I'm just happy to see him back. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. You know Boston did him dirty. Boston did him dirty. You know what's a little weird that I just took in like recently? Like you know how like everyone's going off about Jalen Brunson? Yeah, Jalen like, Brunson, nice though. They're like, yo, Jalen Brunson is crazy. He yeah. deserves the 200 million or yeah. whatever contract that yeah, he might yeah, get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're like Isaiah Thomas was crazier yeah. in the time with Boston. I think it was crazy. In that time, bro. Give it yeah. to him. He, yo, a lot of people don't. Remember, remember, but he was in, like he was in MVP talks, yeah. and like three. the top, the top four finalists was PG, Harden, IT, yeah. and, and Braun. Yeah. And Braun. Yeah. The last two were Braun and Harden. And they gave it to Harden. Wait, the, the conference finals. Yeah. Oh, the playoff series. Yeah. But like you know, when superstars are born, it's playoff series. Yep. He did damage two straight years in a row. Yo, he killed man. And he played injured. They did and him dirty. They though. did him dirty. They did him dirty. But yo, shout out to my guy Isaiah Thomas for making him back to the league. Yeah, it's nice. I'm it's mean, nice. He's got a ten day. It'd be nice. Yeah, he's got a ten day. Hopefully, he gets some minutes. Gets yeah. a little burn because I know he's got a lot to show. Yeah. Um, but we'll see how that that kind of yeah. works even, out. Even in his G League games, like he was balling out. So like yeah, I know he can still he play. He was dropping fifty pieces, man, yeah, on the he, regs. He can still play. Yeah. yeah. He dropped like eighty in a league. Remember? And he was yeah, crying. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Drew League or something. Right? No, it wasn't the Drew League. Oh, it's the league. The Crawford. The Crawford attorney. Yeah. Um, I know it's been a long time since this this happened. Yeah. High school was a long time ago. I mean, at least it is. It was for me. Yeah. High school was like ten years for me. Yeah, ten years, man. Twenty fourteen. Yeah. What about you? Twenty fourteen. Yeah. You get, but you guys didn't graduate from high school, did you? I, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this guy. <laughs> you guys are so dumb. But yo, uh, what was the toughest grade in high school, though? Be honest. No, at those times for you, there wasn't even grade. No. They had grade grade thirteen, like in nineteen eighty. <laughs> No, they didn't have great turn. It was 1939, fam. They didn't even go to school at those yeah, times. Yo, yeah. Drew's not that old, man. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the only way you could grab some jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Age jokes? Yeah. Ageism? That's crazy. Fam, he grew up with pharaohs. <laughs> uh, I would have to I was going to ask him what the toughest grade was, but he didn't have a toughest yeah. grade because would... he repeated grade nine four times. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fam, I repeated grade nine four times at a point. They were just like, yo, honestly, just graduate. Yo, my God. <laughs> they just gave me a certificate and told me to get out. <laughs> I would have to say grade 12 because that's when you wanted to make your marks like elite, yeah. try to get into the best programs. Like yeah, that. nope. <laughs> shout, out my, shout out my principal. You know who you are, Miss Esther Brooks. Yeah, I don't think they're watching. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not, watching, not watching, nah, she blessed me still. She yeah. blessed me because, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'm going to have to agree with V. Grade 12, yeah. definitely because, yo, grade 9 to 11, you can fuck around as much as you want. Yeah. But if you don't turn things around yeah. in grade 12, yeah. forget university. Yeah. I remember. It, I can't it. lie. Yeah. I remember our teacher saying that all the time. The like, hardest grade. You can joke around yeah. right now. Yeah. But remember, next year grade twelve is coming up, and like, you be a joker like this, and like the programs you want to get into, you won't be able. to You get won't into. be able to get it. And, yeah. if and you don't, if you don't get that average, yeah. bro, average is key, man. It's key. Man. I remember. I remember taking French just so I could get hundred percent and boost my average up. Swear. Good, good times. Bonjour. What about you? I went to gym to boost. <laughs> yeah, but gym didn't count for the average. You, it's just that's how you know you didn't go to grade twelve. No, some some schools actually had basketball as a class, man. Yeah, no, he didn't know because he didn't play on the basketball team. <laughs> no, some schools actually had basketball good try, as a class. Good try, though. Did you play on your basketball? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's another obstacle that we had yeah. to get across because like yeah. balancing school and sports. Yeah. It was, it was a little tough. Being on a ball team in high school is the most elite thing ever. Yeah. Uh, I agree. You, know, you no. leave class early. Yeah, you act like you're the president. Like, yeah, yeah. Guys from the basketball <laughs> team, please come to the main foyer. You walk I, out. Uh, walk out. Get the swag. No, but yeah. I think for me, the hardest grade wasn't even grade 12. For me, it was actually grade 9. <laughs> yeah, because that's when you were learning the language. That's when you came to Canada. No, fam. Grade 9 is the hardest because you come into an environment where it's like... You have to make new friends. You have to make new friends. Yeah. You're the new kid in the school. It's Whatever. like starting all over again. Yeah, but by the time it was grade 12, fam, like, marks, like, I don't know, for you guys, you had to struggle for marks or something, because I didn't care about school like that and still went to college. Yeah. Because yeah. you just cheated off everyone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you still cheated in college. <laughs> 
Hey yo, guys, yo, I've been in the building. <laughs> can you answer yo, these just, questions for me? As long as George Brown can't come back and take my dick. They can't. Yo, <laughs> you're good. Don't worry. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I never really worried about grades like that. Yeah. Well, nah, you're low-key smart, though. No, but for real, a lot of other things. If you guys literally sit there and actually think about it, what did you learn in high school that you can put into life now? That's true. It's very. I mean, I talk about it all the time. It's very true. Like they didn't teach you the basics of what you needed to know. I learned about credit in university, bro. Yeah. Yeah. What did they really teach? What do you take away? Bro, spending forty bands and you come out and you feel like you don't. You don't learn, fam. Oh my god. Take this in. (laughs) We're not telling you not to go to school, guys. I'm saying that, like, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, go to school. Like someone I know. Left high school, went into trades, then started building houses, and then ended up becoming like a... Yeah, man. That's not everyone, bro. That's one no, and that. Yeah. Someone I know. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's not a great example. No, but, I'm, but no, I'm saying why it's a great example is like, yo, I don't think school... I think school breeds workers, not like... If you think about it, the not guys... Leaders. Yeah. Like, if you think about guys that have businesses or like at the top of the company who own the business weren't like crazy. Smart. No, they were with. they were definitely smart. They were just college dropouts, but they were definitely smart. Yeah. So I'm saying like not like they were like geniuses. Smart. Yeah, if yeah. you think not about like it, geniuses, smart. but they knew they were geniuses. Yeah, so yeah. They're like yeah. oh, I can do whatever I want. Without them, like yeah. I think yeah. about it like like not like book smart. You know, like guys that own like restaurants or like crazy businesses. Fam, like those are some of those guys who don't even speak English. The fact time. that you did restaurants and crazy businesses in the same sentence, I know you're gonna you don't beat think restaurants up. crazy businesses? That's the toughest business to excel in, bro. It's so but, hard. So. And then I eight out of ten to... restaurants fail. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And take in some of the guys that own restaurants actually haven't went to school before. Yeah, I mean you don't necessarily need school to open And that's the toughest business. Yeah. Take it in. It's all, it's the toughest business, it's also the easiest business to get into. You I can open so. any restaurant at yeah. any time. Uh, Anything and, is considered no, but, but you also got to take in like to become successful at something you have to be smart. You're not going to be just oh it's not just cuz it's easy to open that doesn't mean it's you're going to excel at it. Does that make sense? That's true. It's easy to play basketball, yeah. but it's hard to be the best on the team. Right? 100%. So, uh, that's how I think about it. I feel like you don't have to be the smartest in the room to be to have the most or to succeed. Cheers to that. <laughs> Fam, tell me it's not facts. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. I don't know what the fuck this guy did. That. This is a prime example of why you should go to school. <laughs> Pause, man. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Why you dying? Yo. <laughs> no, what you said is... You guys are moving like what I'm saying is not facts. No, what you said is, is facts. Yo, I almost ruined the shirt, bro. Yo, yo, you can't. It's Dior, man. Yo, okay. Quickly, quickly. Because you can't see the, your bottom half. Pause. No diddy. Um, can you just... <laughs> No, no, yo, don't do you're... that, fam. Dizzy's gonna come. Yo, nah, nah. Can you just show us what you're wearing today? No. Quickly, nice quickly, quickly. No, no, That's a very nice shirt, man. It sounds crazy. Yeah. No, but seriously, man. <laughs> name, me a, name me a business owner that you guys know that are excelled in school. What did you go to school for? Business management. Okay. Damn, you spent 40 bands on that. <laughs> Facts, bro. I just What's bought it all. Yeah, you know what he does, though. Like, it makes sense. Yeah, but what he does is not business management. It's Take true. it in. Mm. All right. I mean, I think I think it kind of... Segues in. Yeah, yeah like, for no? sure. For yeah. sure. For what I'm doing, I think, in yeah. some way, shape, or form, it did help. Yeah. 40 bands worth? I, I mean, yeah, because I doubled that in, what, in less than a year. Bro. Easy. So yeah. it kind of makes sense for me. But you're right. Not everything is is needed. Yeah. Um, I agree. But, but all these guys, guys who go are to school, streamers, go to school. Yeah. we're not telling you not to go no, to school. I think it's I think gonna... high school is important, and after that, you make your choice. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, there's success stories on both sides, and there's failures no, I think, from both sides. I think, sides, I think you know? university is a must. Yeah. Uh, I think it's pretty or much college, a, university or college. Yeah, it's the lowest standard now. Yeah, like Fam, if you, you gotta don't ask... have a degree from university in 2024. Then yeah, yeah for workers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, workers. And that's lot. what I'm trying to tell you. Like, yeah. in terms ain't of nothing like, wrong with, with being a worker. No, no, like, and I'm not saying yeah, that's wrong, yeah, but yeah. I'm saying, like, in terms of, like, like half of the people, fam, you got to take in, like, the guys, the the, 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 jo- the yeah. jokers in the class, like the guys who, who are joking around but are also street, street smart. Yeah. Those are the highest ones. 100%. Take in, like, right no, now, guys, stop agreeing fam, to this. No, you're it's facts. No. The it's numbers actual of facts. jokers making it is a lot lower than no. guys actually going to school. No, let's not go there. No, no, yeah, exactly. Using, that's, yeah, facts. that's okay. No, 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 no. What you're saying is right. Okay. A number of jokers, right, have a lower chance of being workers. 
but also have a high chance of being business owners. And jokers can also be useless bums in 100%. the roads. Yeah, that's yeah. also true. The number that we're not talking no, no, about. We're not talking chances, about those. He's not saying all the jokers. Yeah, yeah. He's saying in his in his example, yeah. he's a joker. Yeah. yeah, he came out successful and he's yeah. doing well. He's not really that, a you know? joker. Yeah, he was. Like, no, I'm a joker. Like, fam. in high yeah. school, I was yeah. the class clown. Yeah. In college, I was the class clown. I went to high school. I went to college. Yeah. And then I'm doing what I'm doing now. Yeah, but I was also the class clown, but I was also pretty smart in the yeah. class. You can be both. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're an example. That's, yeah. that's what I mean. I, I feel yeah. like, yes, I agree to a certain extent, mm -hmm. certain extent but there's extreme like, in order to survive in order to survive in this country, you do need you an need education. that. Yeah. Because if you're showing up to any job interviews, let alone yeah. not what I'm talking about, yeah. what the you're first thing they about, look at. If you're yeah. not, if you don't have an undergrad, forget yeah. it. Yeah. Like you're getting skipped immediately because everyone's going to show up with an undergrad yeah. right now. A post grad is like the bare minimum. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I mean? Fun, or other uh, other types of certification mm -hmm. in order to make it to these Fortune 500 companies. Exactly. You're yeah. not getting any other jobs. Like you could start lower, yeah. and you could kind of grind yeah. your way up to where you want to be. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, if you if you're looking to make like you know 50, 60 right out of university, yeah. it's a great way to do it by going to school. Hundred percent. I agree with that. Yeah. Unless Exclusive. your parents are giving you money and you're going to open a business right out of high school, by by all means. But you can't tell me you're coming out of high school and you got money to start something. There's yeah. no way. You're shut to Kaisenet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's also like, we're talking about it, university or college. Like, my parents, like, initially when I was thinking about college too, so they're like, oh, college, why are you going to college? College has a lot of good programs too, and there's a lot of success of people that go through college. So yeah. it doesn't have to be you have to go to university. Like, yo, I went to college. Like, look at that main camera, yeah. and then once in a while, I look there. He's <laughs> <laughs> a college. Is <laughs> college or university? No, but man, like, I feel like you. I'm just like, I feel like you're talking about like, you know, like, I guess I'm practical talking about stuff. how to make it work in this country. I'm talking about how it's, to become it's great. big. It's, in this it's great listening to hustling and bustling, but like, yeah. bro, not everyone. Yo, but yeah. but it works, fam. Like, you got to see the success is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah but the the success rate is low. Yeah. The success is there, but probably like one or two percent. Yeah, but it's not it's not hard to tell someone to try that way too. You know, that, it's like, definitely not hard. But like if, you're if, telling someone, like it's if like, you're telling someone that's coming out of high school to go try it, like you're 100%. setting it up for failure. You know, that's the only that's the time you got to try, fam. When do you start trying? When you're forty, to try to make it like. When you're young is where you make the mistakes. Yeah. Do whatever you want to try, right? If you're trying to go right out of high school or right out of university and you go into this nine to five and this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, you're like in your 20s, in your 30s, you make your mistakes. Fam. Yeah. But not you know? everyone wants to be the, the head honcho, like yeah. try something new and yeah. try a different business. Like, you know, but a lot of people want to, fam. People are okay. I, I, I speak to speak, fam, I spoke to someone, they're like, yo, I'm so happy. Like, you guys started a podcast, man. Like in my twenties, I want to do my pod. I want to do a podcast, but yeah. I, you know, I was too scared to. So for me, it's, I'm just saying, like, yo, try what you guys want to try. Yeah. You fail, you fail, you get up, and then you can, cause yo, you can always have a university degree and go get a job. You can walk into university at 30 years old, go to school for four years, finish it, and get the exact same salary. Yeah. You would you skipped out on, you know. But to make yeah, millions, but you skipped on that by 10 years. Yeah, you exactly. Yeah, I don't want to be. I don't want to be making. So fam, in university 10, graduate money when there's I'm 30. Thing, both you know, situations. One thing I learned is profits is, profits is better than wages. And that's facts. Yeah, but in order to get those profits, you don't just come out of high school and start making profits. No, I'm not saying you don't, but yeah. that's when you make the mistakes, fam. The guy that owns that sneaker store in LA came out of high school, yeah. tried four to five different things, then he finally made it. Kai Sinek came out of high school, before but trying look at, the, look at the names you're using. And, and those are successful stories. This, those are regular guys. This, yeah. But regular the success guys, but, stories yeah. are very no, no, minimal no, compared no, no, to the he's, failures. He's like no, he's one percent of where he came from. I don't think I don't think you guys are understanding. No, I'm not guaranteeing that this works. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is, when you're young, is where you make your mistakes because you can always go back to school. Mm -hmm. You can always go back to school. We can walk into school right now. I'm not trying to go to school when I'm 30, bro. I want to go to school where I could go to school early. You, so you're gonna go to school at. Because if you're trying to get right? post, if you're trying to get a post grad and you're 30, bro, you're gonna finish school by like that time you're 40. No, no, you don't want to do that. I, and you're gonna start your career, make what 50k when you're 40. Like, no, what is that? No, but your life to this. Even, your life started like 10 years ago. You guys are both, go find you guys are both vouching for different extremes. Yeah, right I, I think which I'm is fair. About which is fair. totally different from what you're talking about. Okay. You're talking about coming out of university, no, you're getting away. Examples of like extreme no. situation in terms of like no, one percent of a city. No, not and one person of a city. That. Like that's not the type of you me started your business not, at what age? But the, but the thing is, yeah, that's not what the type, age did you start your business? Information we want to put yeah. out there. What what you don't want to put out there? I don't want to put out there that uh, but, you can that, come out of university. You can come out of high school and you can be Kaiser No, no look, you can't no, do that. You know Kermit the Frog. No, but you could be though. Cause look, fam, look. When did you start? What what age did you start your business? Uh, 
start a multiple business, but yeah, I was but in my 20s. What age did you start your business? Dream Factory. What age did you start your business? Oh, that, that wasn't too long ago. It was about yeah. like three, four years ago. How old were you? 31. If you started Dream Factory 32. when you were 22, what do you think you'd be right now? I'd be a full-time videographer. Don't you think that was good? That would, that would have been worth trying at that time? Yeah, but I also did well in school, though, and then I was able to get the exactly. job. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm yeah. saying, like, fam, there's fruits to both sides of the story. I understand That's that. That's literally no, what I'm trying to say. I understand that, but the, 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 the examples you're using is a lot I literally through, just like, used exactly what you said you would have done 22 years ago. No, you if didn't. If you not. started you're using Kaisen factory and guys that no, stop at those sneaker stores and guys that are streaming online gaming online to become successful. No, bro, that's not how it works. That, that, fam, those that's are things that works. pay out. Social media pays out the more. Yeah. Pays out the most. Yeah. It does, right? Today. Social media. Today. Today. Exactly. Today. And we're okay. different ages. And I'm talking about today. I'm not talking about when you were 30 years ago. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about that. Okay. We're talking about people that are today watching this. Yeah. Today, in 2024. Yeah. Okay. Social media pays the most. So you're telling me everyone social media do pays social the media most. And not do school? No, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying like people that want to try social media. And you think everyone's going to succeed more than with that with social media? No, you could, fam. No, not everyone. But I'm not saying uh, everyone succeeds with your business. How many people are coming fam, on social media right now that are succeeding? Yeah, but like, how many people you can count the number of people? No, in but brother, in how our many city. people? How many people work in your business? Does that mean like everybody goes into a school and goes into a business? Like, I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying, fam. You're not also not understanding. I'm just saying you're pushing into an extreme where you're trying to push an agenda that's, that's not realistic. No one's that's pushing what I'm that. Saying. What you're doing is you're telling them, go to school. I agree with that. But I'm saying, when you're young, make your mistakes. Do whatever you want to do. Because school is not the most important thing out of thing, fam. It's not. You can pursue your passion. Fact. Do what you want to do. When you're young, fam. Be what you want to be, but be good at it. Exactly. Be great at it if be you want to be that exactly. successful. Exactly. Being good exactly. is not good enough. But switching topics. There we have it. Are you guys good now? Like, do you guys need a breather? Yeah. Like, oh, it's good. We're just talking about a subject, so bro. So passionate, man. So we're talking about growing up. I know you guys love your TV shows. Yeah, I love it. What was your favorite TV show? Fresh Prince. Up? Let's go. Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Yeah, Fresh man. I still watch it the that third is, day. That is a story. I'm kind of cheesed. Netflix pulled it out, but I still watch it the third day. I used to look up to Will Smith until recently, bro. Bro, I grew up to watching Will Smith. Yeah, Will Smith. Like, I was Goated. doing what Will Smith was doing. Yeah. Until, like, you know, he did what he did. He said I was doing what Will Smith was doing. Bro, I, I wanted to dress like Will. I wanted to well, wear shoes well, like Will. Will was a legend. Man. Yeah, he had the I, craziest. I was a class clown fam, yeah. because of Will. Yeah. Fam, I like, can't lie. Will Smith had the craziest had, kicks. Going back yeah. to he Bro, was ahead of his time. And his drip too. His drip, his was, drip was drippy. crazy. Drippy. Let alone the show itself with Carlton. Yeah. The fact the that Jordan Poole signed it at that time for him to wear Jays. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently he went to Joe Jordan. Remember that story? Yeah, yeah. And Jordan was like, nah, at first. And then Cole signed it. Okay, I found you can do He was good. He had some crazy kicks on there, fam. I mean, that's my show. What about you guys? Which I was a um, Dragon Ball Z guy. Dragon Ball, yeah. I, rest in peace to... Rest in peace. To... Uh, really? Kuriyama. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the Passed thing. Away like I might be butchering the name. I'm sorry, guys, but... Yeah, that, that show was legendary. Legend. I remember waking up in the morning, watching Dragon Ball Z. Well, I was a I used, family to, I used to buy the books. Yeah. I used to buy the books. I like, used to beg my mom to yeah. buy the books. Really? Was, was it on Scholastics? No. Was it not Scholastics? No, no. Yo, Scholastics in school? Scholastics was crazy. What about you, man? Yo, uh, to be honest, I grew up on Disney Channel. So, like, that's the Raven. That's the Raven. Zach and Cody. Family Guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Family Guy was funny. Family Guy. Actually, no, I don't watch Family Guy. No? No. Nah. Uh, Family Guy was good, you but said I was you watch a like... Disney Channel. Family Guy was like the biggest show on there. Really? Yeah. Nah, I was doing like. Uh, that's the Raven. That's eh? Raven, Zach and Cody. Zach and Cody. SpongeBob, Fairly Odd Parents. Like, yeah. Fairly Odd Parents was lit. You were watching Zach and Cody too? Zach and Cody, Cody and Zach. No, that's not. No, that's definitely. Oh my God. <laughs> this oh guy's fraud. No, I'm going to yeah, insert that. Nah, Zach and Cody yeah. was sick. Right it's it's those two brothers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Twins. The twins. The twins. Yeah. Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents was lit. Yeah. But like in high school, I didn't really watch shows. Yeah. It was like more so like grade nine. You're, just, you're starting yeah. businesses in high school, right? Yo, I opened my first <laughs> business when I was 11 years old. No, in high school, fam, I think when you're so into basketball, all I did was watch ball, play yeah. ball, and that's it. Yeah. I never really had. We didn't have cable in high school. So we didn't actually have cable. Mm. That's why we didn't watch TV in high school. If you school. go to university, you can afford cable. <laughs> <laughs> so, unless you're rich. Uh, you yeah, but yo, yeah. yeah, I used to go to Dragon Ball Z. I didn't have cable growing up either. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z, Maybe Fresh Prince. You said it. Fairly Odd Parents. SpongeBob. Big shows. Big shows. This guy's just naming everything. No, nah, I'm just trying to see like if there's anything else you left out. On, no. is what, there... what did you say? I said Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Name three characters. Goku. Goku. Gohan. Gohan. Trunks. Jeez. Pic- Piccolo, are... Krillin. Okay. Okay, okay. Frieza. Jesus. Don't Frieza. Oh. Who? No, but no, I I yeah, I grew up on like Family Channel. 
basketball. Yeah, nothing crazy. Like, you know what it is? Did you guys did you guys watch wrestling growing up or no? Wrestling, no, yeah. no. No. Yo, John Cena was like yo. Actually, okay, yo, no, that's what I know. You, you 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 watch yeah. the wrong era, right? Yeah, because because John Cena was the era like we grew up. Yeah, yeah. No, but that John, was the worst era. John Cena is the era people stopped watching Funny, wrestling. Yeah, no, that's, that's when it was dying. But down. like that's when we we were watching because you, John Cena. So guys, you guys didn't watch like the Stone Cold uh, no. Stone Cold Steve Austin and the Rock. We caught him at like the, their, their yeah, we're like tail end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like yeah, it's actually remember the jean shorts all the way past me. Speaking of that, bro, the Rock is back. Yeah, it's killing it right now. You're telling bring it the attitude era. I only watched the, the promo he does, right? Killing it again brought me back to like old school memories. But yeah, John Cena, uh, that's when I stopped watching. I, I felt like he yeah, killed to be it. honest, at those times it was. You know what's funny? Like, Yo, like when we were in thing, high school, yeah. is when the YouTube era started. Yeah, like, like Soldier Boy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Like that was elementary school, but like in high school, those vloggers came out. Yeah, Uzi Tube, yeah. Superwoman. I was watching more of those too. Yeah, I was watching. Uh, F- yeah, Fuzzy Tube was a character. Fuzzy Tube. Yeah, I don't remember what I'm talking about. Who's the Who's the other, the Asian guy? Was no, the no, Asian but Fuzzy Tube in the start was kind of cool. He was cool. Yeah. yeah, but he was flexing too much and caught up to. Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah, man, but he was. The, he's he was, doing some out of pocket stuff right now to get back. He was the back. biggest. He on was YouTube, right. Yeah, he was like the original him and Superwoman. Yeah. Were L- the Lily Singh. Like, the man was buying Ferraris like every other day. He was doing. Now he's doing way too much to try to get back into. Yeah, he can. And then like uh, the other, the pranks for Vitaly. Yeah, man, nah, they're doing too much. Vitaly was yeah. Vitaly funny. Was, oh yeah. my God, he, he, he's, he's still a, trying right he's now. He's another case of yeah. yeah, they made it big and then yeah. uh, crash. But they're also part of like the Vine era because like when Vine kind of went down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's King no. Batch on one. And the Asian yeah. guy. He's from Toronto, you know? King Batch. Is he? Yeah, King Batch is from Toronto. Yeah, he's from Toronto. Now you know what happened to Fuzzy Tube fam? I think it was more so like he, like you said, he got too big, and then. He was into like I think he was like addicted to like sex or something like that. Yeah, he was addicted to jerking off or something. Yeah. Like Stop! Yo, the Rock was addicted to that too, and then then the life oh was ruined. But that was I remember those YouTube days were crazy. Yeah. Sea walking, I was a sea walker myself. Yeah. You should uh, drop your YouTube page. Nah, nah. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, sea walking was jokes. Yeah. Nah, but that's how we do it, man. But going at? into some uh, controversial topics. Controversial casts. I'm back. What is He's it? Back. I'm gonna let you speak it this time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't see okay, that part. What, what would you do if you and your boy hit on the same girl and you found out? Usher R. Kelly, same girl. Oh, sick track. Oh, same reference was fire. Come Come on. On. Give us the vocals, bro. Uh, pause. No diddy. Pause. <laughs> no diddy. Oh my god. No diddy. What What would you do? <laughs> you found out you, you guys are hitting on the same girl I would first go back and say who hit it first mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be like are they twins and yeah then... he's the dumb guy that <laughs> you're really him. going to that music video <laughs> yeah, we're, not, we're not talking about the music video bro we're talking about like yo like what would you do, situation. Like, what would you do in that situation you're I'm walking talk- away I'm walking yeah. away I'm like my, you're my boy you yeah. can have it yeah. Yeah. I'm that's that guy too. Yeah. Yeah. no that's not what you said you're just no. repeating after us <laughs> no I'll be like yo I'll be like yo like are we really talking to the same girl and then alright let's set her up I'd be like, yo, Akka, um, there's this girl that me and my boy are talking to. I need you to beat her up. And my mm. sister would be what? like, ah, my sister, I, my sister. Right? Your sister to beat up the girl? But yeah, what do you mean? But why would you disrespect your sister? Yeah. What do you mean? yeah. Bro. I'll call your sister to beat you up. She's dating knowing that we're boys. She, she has How to How do you know, know this? Did this happen to no, you? No, I'm saying like she has to know that. Yeah. Man, it felt so personal, you no, right? but I'm saying that like that's the question. Oh, yeah, she's lying like that. I'll just be yeah, like, yo, honestly, yeah. I'm broke right now. I need like 10 racks. Yeah. Grab the 10 racks and go. And if you and your boy are dating the same girl, you guys are both dumb because how do you guys not talk to each other about facts, dating that facts, girl? Facts. So that's, that's I mean, you could have talked about it. You yeah. just never showed it. Yeah, because yo, as Mandem, we're not showing off our girls. No, 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 I'm talking to I mean, we yeah. do that. Yo, yeah, be like, yo, this is a girl I'm talking to. You guys, yeah, yeah. we say that. Yeah, when it gets to that, I'm really talking to her state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I mean, I don't know. I feel like... Yeah. Your fam, I'm telling you. I feel like, yo, if you're proud and you're like, yo, like, I'm talking to this girl, you know. You're telling me... Yeah. In your talking stages, I knew every woman you guys were talking to? No. no. Exactly. Yeah. And that's how we... Madam that's Kim, that's how because yeah. girls are the ones that'll go... No, but some guys do that if they feel like they got the... The bad. The, the one. Baddie. Like the one. And they're like, oh my gosh. No, if we got to the one stage, then you guys are but both... But the worst is when you pull out the phone and be like, oh, I'm talking to this. Someone yeah, like, oh, no, I know someone else I'm talking oh. to. That's it. That's a kill. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, one funny that's story. Cool. It's a story time, baby. It's so been a while. This, one, uh, this is like... A couple years back, D Pats was actually making a joke about this. So I was like, Yo, D Pats. Shout out D Pats. I'm talking to this girl. And then she straight up was like, Yo, why did you have an elbow on her nose? 
Oh lord. I mean elbow on her face. So she's pretty much saying she has a big nose. So. Oh my god. I thought you were gonna share a story that you just exposed just... deep ass, bro. Yeah. Nah, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> what she, the no, she, it's funny. She'll laugh at it. Nah, it's it's she'll worse. laugh at it. And I, I like realism like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviousable? So deep ass called her Pinocchio and you got cheese? Yeah, I got no, cheese. No, that's not the that's not what I was saying. <laughs> like what how would saying, you react? Yes. You pull out the the baddie. And then your boy's like, yo, I know another guy that I was talking to. And that's a that's a kill right away. That's also another... Are you still continuing to talk? No. No. If I find... Like, fam, nah. you guys got to take in, like... But why, though? Because, yeah, I'm not like that. I'd rather I'm nobody know like that I'm talking to type of vibes. You know? Yeah. Like, I don't want to talk to someone that's, like, talk to the whole city, fam. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay, let's not push it to that extreme but you also, again. <laughs> but you also know there's a lot... if you talk to one, it's a hundred. There's also a lot of guys that be like, yo, I used to talk to her. Nah, you just followed her and she unfollowed you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. Like, yeah. you know, there's a lot of guys that lie like that too. So take everything with a with a side of caution. Yeah. Okay. No, obviously, I'm going to take it from the girl. Like, if a guy tells me, hey, I used to talk to her, I'm not going to really care. But I'm going to go back to the girl, like, how do you know this guy? Yeah. If she goes, like, yeah, I've talked to him. Yeah. There's certain guys if you've talked to Come that on, guy. Yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah. You, know? you already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, oh, okay. You gotta do the U-turn. Yeah. 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 Do the Mayu turn. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Mayu. Yeah. Yo, shout out Mayu. Mayu's left turn is pretty epic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't think Mayu's taken a left turn since. <laughs> yeah. He only takes left turns. Yeah. Oh, but he takes a rain and does a U-turn. Since we're in that conversation, that happens, right? I know you can't read this far. No, nah, I can. But can you be friends with your ex? That was a great segue, man. <laughs> and let's just do a U-turn and next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, um, no, we're, obviously we're all, we're grown ups now. Yeah. Right? I feel you, you can. Yeah. It just they, depends, I guess. Yeah. What? If you, no, it depends on how it ends. Yeah. It's, it's, it's what you want to say. Yeah. <laughs> I it depend yeah exactly depends on it. You cannot how be ended and if you guys are civil like yeah. obviously not best friends like how you used to be yeah. but like you can still be friends. No, nah, right. I'm, I'm gonna say that's no. negative. I think you can. No, no, no. We don't do friends with exes. Fam. Absolutely not. You can't be friends with exes because you gotta also take in like, bro, that was there's your much, ex. There's too much history there, man. Yeah, yeah. You're doing a disfavor to whoever else you're gonna be. But you guys are not you like, fam, you, you guys are not explaining. The there's the multiple pen. levels of friendship. Yeah, there is multiple levels of friendship. That's Yo, you guys question. can argue that side. I'm arguing this we're, side. Yeah, we're, I, I, we're, I, I, we're two seasons in. Yeah. yeah. We're seventh episode. Exactly. Yeah. And you I already know how yeah. our questions are. Exactly. Okay? And that's what I said. You, you, can the, you can't be friends with your ex. I, I think you If can. you guys are still friends with your Why ex. Why do you think you can be friends with your ex? That's a red flag. Huh? <laughs> if you guys had a civil breakup, okay. right? And you like, guys are civil breakup, like go ahead. Like you guys are like okay, like both both you guys realize yo, it's not working out for each other. You guys both part ways. There's no there's no there's, no, there's nothing bad that happened. No cheating, nothing like that. And you guys are like yo, we're part ways. It's, I'm not saying like so that means you're not friends. I'm not saying like part great, ways. What do you mean? Like you're part ways as in in the relationship, but, but that you, doesn't mean that you can't be so you friends. So still talk here and there. And like, that's what I'm saying. Like there's multiple different levels of friendships. Like yeah, but you're doing it. Listen, listen to this. Listen you're to doing it. a disfavor for yeah. whoever else you're gonna be dating. Yo, V, are you yeah. okay? If with... you're saying you're still friends with your no. ex. No. So okay. Yeah, so that that that's a totally different question. You're saying can you still be friends on, with your ex? On, you, like like I said, yeah. we're two seasons okay, in. Okay, that's what we explained. No, no, but V, our questions have been straightforward. Okay, then. Okay, you can be your friends. I know you want to get brownie points. No, it's not about brownie points, man. It's about it's about facts. No, no, you can be friends with your ex. But listen, are you gonna date a girl that's friends? With her ex, huh? Huh? Come on, that's, what, what? that's how you. If she's, always, if she's friends with her ex, yeah, like, and they broke up civil. They're still friends. They hear texting on, their girlfriend. Go like, bro. They, what do you mean texting girlfriend? Let's. That's asking follow up No, man, you guys are not. Ex- no, what kind of friends do you want them to be? Yo, like, there's no, different types of friends. Benefits, yes, bro. no, there's fr- <laughs> there's friends that like there's friends that you don't talk to. There's friends that you don't talk to. But like you're still civil with them. I have boys that I don't no, talk to, but when I, I see them, I, know what you I have mean. girls that I don't talk we're to. Not ask, we're not asking yeah, we're not asking your boys. That's the question. No, no, Are you friends, fam? Would you be no, friends no, no, with no, your no. ex? That's not what would I be friends with my yes. ex? And it's civil, like we're good, no, like we haven't, we, I'm, like it's... No, I, just I, I guess, to I guess I'm, you want to be a nice guy, right? I'm not trying to be a nice guy, fam. I'm going to stand on this. You guys, if you guys want to be insecure and do your shit, you guys are insecure. That's fine. I'm okay. Okay, and and you're friends with your ex? And If my girl is like, yo, I don't feel comfortable, you being friends with the ex, no, then no, but, but why would you put your girl in that position where I, feel, I don't feel comfortable? I would, with she no, would no, know that before, it. though. Let me explain. She it. would but, know but when you say friends. I yeah. just want to confirm yeah. this because I think I know what you. Yeah, mean. you're saying friends like I'm. Go- you're going no, out no, chilling no, every night. Nah, no, nah. No, 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 I'm no, saying no, friends. No. Like when you say friends, I think you're talking about like not talking to them at all. And when you see them, you're like, hey, hi. Next is an ex for reason, right? Like that. That's what you're talking. Friends here. Friends we're talking about is when when you're my friend. Yeah. The term friend. Yes. means we keep in touch. Yeah. We stay around. 
We text each other. We can go for lunch. We, don't ask we can go for cordial. dinner together. And, yeah. We can go yeah. play basketball together. Yeah. Me and you as a friend can go to the movies. Yeah. That's the type of friends. We're not talking about, can you stay on... Okay. No, clearly, clearly yeah. he has 10 different definitions of the word yeah. friend. Yeah, because you're fam. We're just talking about, you're talking about ending a good you're with right. your ex and being on good terms with them. You're, you're right. And like in terms of like being cordial, yeah, cordial. and like that. But That's like, good to be. I, like the, my my friendships, yeah. my definition of friendship constitutes differently compared to yours. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's what I'm trying to say. But if you if you're going along those lines, then no. Yeah. But okay. if you're saying like, okay. yo, if I see them, I'd be like, oh hey, like this, and then. So, so if you yeah, yeah, you if you have that, okay. yeah, yeah, I that's think what I'm saying. That's fair, normal. right? If you haven't seen someone for ten years, yeah. yeah, right, and that was your ex, yeah. yeah, would that still be considered friends? Yeah, in ter- not no, but the thing is, you're his, just cordial. His terms of friends, he's yeah, but that, using that it. wouldn't even be a term as a friend. Yeah, it's not a friend. Like that still can be because a friend. you got to take in like, let's say you and your ex. And yes, good we're, okay, we're not talking about actual friends. We're yeah. talking about exes. You're still yeah. heat, right? man. Just no, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yo, talking about exes. No, you're right. No, what we're talking about. What we thought you were talking about, talking about, was like friends enough to where like. You will still have like that connection where if you see them in public, there's too much. Yeah, you'll still have like a drink or something, like you know, like. Oh my oh. god! This, <laughs> it just keeps getting more. So you just contradicted your word friendship. No. Yeah. Okay. Yo, fam. So okay. then, okay, well, you're yeah. okay with your ex in public. You're with her. Yeah. She goes up and hugs her ex, yeah. talks to her. Then they're like, "V, stay here. We're gonna go for drinks. We're just." Ex. Okay, that's totally different, fam. <laughs> that's because that probably happened to you, and you're insecure based on the situation. Oh that's okay, but what fun. if what if she went and hugged her ex in front of you? Huh? If she went and hugged their ex in front of me, yeah, and they're and they're civil, yeah. If how about if she, he came and hugged her? <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? No, no, but we, but you we guys, talking about, he's yeah, saying, but like, you're yeah. saying we're being insecure. No, we're, but you're, saying, what you're saying is you're like, I won't do any of. This. He's he's like he's like, no, that's okay, not okay. Guys, that's not okay. I need to set some ground rules. Yeah, okay. can you just don't, don't be personal. I'm not yeah. trying yeah. to be personal. Okay, fam. Yeah. I'm just trying to explain okay. my situation. Clearly, and Cass, you no. understood. Yeah. Like we're being cordial. Yeah, he's understand, bro. But that's not friendship. That's not friendship, bro. Like what you're saying is but like I'm saying there's different levels of like I know you're trying to be mature. We're yeah. all mature. Yeah. I understand what you're trying yeah. to say. But if you're still going around saying I could be friends with my ex, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Like you gotta take it in like no. yo fam, you were clapping this thing. Being cordial is like <laughs> you were cool. Whoever this ex was, you were clapping her behind <laughs> the back. You were seeing every part of her body. You clapped it, you slapped it, you flapped it, whatever you did, yeah. right? And then you're saying, like, I can be cordial with her. I agree. Yeah. You can have a civil breakup. And then when you see them, it's like, hey, hi, what's up? Yeah. Good to go. Yeah. But what we're, to, our, like, fam, the word friendship only means one thing on yeah. Google. There isn't different types. Of, there's friendship, yeah. relationship, situationship, yeah. whatever <laughs> ship there is. Yeah. We're talking about being friends. Yeah. And as a friend, there's you big can... big ships, small ships. <laughs> but the best ships are friendships. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> we're the Rubens. This guy just, just took my turn. <laughs> Cheers. 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 He already finished mine with that yes, last conversation. Yes. Honestly, we're just having, yeah. we're just having a casual conversation. No, it's okay. facts. Yo, cool. but you still don't have to go to school. Yeah. <laughs> no, but fam, what I'm trying to say is like... By your definition? Yeah. Because no. my definition is not the same, then no. Yeah. No, yeah. but our definition is what's... It, it's, no, it, okay, so. Our definition is the actual definition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your definition is what you're trying to convey yeah. Yeah. and it's portray. It's, it's facts, though. But like that, that's what I... I I yeah. yeah yeah that's what I'm gonna stand yeah. with you. No, no, yeah. I, what you're this saying, is why guys need sense? to go to university. <laughs> no, but what you <laughs> actually no 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 no, no. Tell me, they 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 taught me this in high school. <laughs> Yo, the people that watch us love yeah. you, right? Yeah. They love you because you're always trying to do the right no, thing. Man, you're always no, man. But no, no, I'm thank saying you. like, no, no, but that's how he yeah. on how he feels. Yo, I'm gonna stand on how I feel. Yo, I don't have to agree with whatever you guys say. No, but the thing is, you. You you can like Here, beat around a the bush. I'm not beating around the bush. Okay. I, I said that, yo, we can be civil accords. Why did you yes. just ask for his no. empty cup? No, because I, so I can pour half of it oh. in there. Yo, no, but what I'm trying to say... Okay, no, we get it. Here, no, give me this. Yeah. He, you know what I'm we saying? Like, Because what V's saying is like... Because he's, he's a stand-up guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we're all stand up guys. We're you all stand up. Like, you don't like disrespecting people like that. No, he like, doesn't. And when you like have whatever previous breakup... He also or, doesn't want to disrespect our viewers. No, no, but what he's saying is facts. Like, he's mature enough. Yeah. And I think in our group, he's the mature one. Ruben's sure, definitely not the sure, mature one. Sure. <laughs> You're the least mature. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm the least mature. No, but you know what I'm saying? Like, he's yeah. the type fam where he, like, he can, like, break up with a girl and then, like, have have kids with her. After. <laughs> <laughs> but not to that extent, but... The way you're saying the, the friendship definition, then I feel like, no. like going out chilling. Nah, that's a no. Yeah, because if your girl was friends yeah. with her ex, yeah. and they see each other in public, and they're like, "Hi, uh, fam," you're gonna feel a type of way. Any yeah. man's gonna feel a type 100%. of way. Hundred percent. And if you feel that type of way, then you have a whole different problem. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say hi to your ex in public? Hell no. Like if you see her, hey, not not like that. <laughs> like, 
No, I, I don't like. I'll, Yo, I'll give her a head nod. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Real, this is actually <laughs> mad, Jones. Yeah. What would you do? You're in public with your girl. You're there sitting, yeah. chilling, sipping yeah. on a drink. She sees her. Actually, yeah. goes and jumps and hugs him. Like not fully onto him, but like you know the hugs where a girl would jump on you and hug you. Yeah. yeah. What would you do? You, it reminds me of that Drake track. Remember yeah. Drake? <laughs> you know what track I'm talking about? <laughs> Which one? Which one? The one where he's don't like, break the glasses, guys. He's <laughs> like he's talking about. like oh, I seen the way. Um, you hug her. Hug him. Like, the yeah, way yeah, I yeah, hug yeah, 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 yeah. Bam. Uh-huh. If she hugs him like that, I'm rolling on the floor, break it, pretend to break my ankle, and call the cops. Yeah. Um. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's extreme. No, 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 I, was, I was kidding, guys. Was, when she comes back, I'll just be like, oh, I'll be like, oh my god. She's like, what? No, but she already hugged you. She jumped on no, the back, no, no. you said. No, no, no. Not, not me. Then? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's trying to think of the other way. <laughs> the other way around. No, no, I'm saying like, your girl wouldn't hug the guy like that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like yeah. No, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, have to leave. Can I get the bill? Could you just put it on hers and I'm just out. no no. I'll just be no, like we're not even at a restaurant. You're you walking said, around the mall. No, oh yeah, that's uh, oh my yeah, god. I'm leaving you there. I'm no, no. My if she once soon as she starts running, I'll walk right into Foot Locker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for bata slippers. <laughs> <laughs> so I can slap myself yeah. <laughs> for choosing her. <laughs> I deserve this. I deserve this. <laughs> no, no, I'll be like this. She's, I'm like, babe, take off your slippers. She's like, why? I'm like, no, no, just take it off. <laughs> I should have never listened to you guys. <laughs> Don't be friends with your ass. <laughs> Yo, that's fucking jokes. Oh, man. No. I see. I don't know what the hell you wrote for the next yeah. one, but you, no, can but, you but, but, but honestly, facts. That is that is cool. Can you really please everyone? No, nah, man. That's a never-ending uh, L. Like, yeah, once please. you get caught in that, like you're in that internal yeah. loop, and then man. you're gonna turn into a people pleaser, and yeah. then uh, and and a yes man. You don't want to always be a yes yeah, man. That's what right. no. Yeah, and you know what it is? It's like people uh, people pleasers are like hard. That's to the be hardest around. thing to do, man. Because yeah. one, no, it's once, easy to be around. Yeah, it's just hard to maintain that. Yeah, <clears throat> and I'll tell you why it's kind of hard to be around them because you'll start noticing it after a while, like. No, bro. They're I'm not a, really I'm a, giving. I'm a, no, no, no. I'm a people pleaser. Yeah. Really? Because yeah. you want it gets like, me in trouble yeah, all the like, time. You you want everyone to have a good time. You want no, everyone to feel comfortable. Can... Exactly. You, so so yo, you, you get caught. Yeah. You get, get caught in a lot of trouble, mix. man. It's it's, it's a never ending loop. But cheers to yeah, you cheers. being a people pleaser because you're a great guy, fam. I just want to drink the mix. Don't want to be caught up in it. Mmm. Jeez. Have you been driving for Drake recently? No, man. What about you, man? What do you think about? Pleasing everyone, it's a hard task. Yeah, man. it's. A, it, I feel like, him? I feel like it. Because he I'm pleases on the, same the crowd page. all the time. I'm, I feel so. like I'm like I'm on the same page sometimes. So I just want everyone to have a good time. But like, there are times when sometimes I feel like you do sacrifice your own happiness yeah. for other people's happiness. And, and I feel like we're person, very yeah. similar in, t- in that sense. I don't think I'm a people. No, no, you just tell them like it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 you don't I give don't a shit. Really yeah, you don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's like if I don't know you, I don't like you. I don't care to please you. That's true. If you're my mandem, I'll do anything. Yo, you for go you above and beyond. I'll, I'll like, give you that. 100. That's facts. When, you, you when it's your people or your yeah, wifey, you go above and beyond for sure. But but if it's like people I don't know, I guess it's also a bad habit because a lot of people don't like me. Mm-hmm. And you know who you are. But shout out to my fans. Yeah. But a lot of people don't like you. But in terms of me, I just can't be like that. Yeah. But like that's why you guys also have a lot of people around you in terms of like. People talk so highly of you too. Like, yo, fam, anytime I've ever spoke to anyone's about you guys, high words. If you were to talk about me, Cass, eh, I don't know. You know those ones? Yeah. So I mean, I haven't really talked to anyone that said that about you. Too. <laughs> I know, this like, subject, just say that. Yeah. I know beer people that. I mean, I'm about you. Don't do that, don't do that. And like, we're not saying we're people pleasers just to please them. Like, that's yeah. what we naturally that's what are. That's what we naturally are. Yeah, yeah. Like, Thank you for clarifying that. Yes, See, this I is clarification. To. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's not beating around the bush. This is not miscommunication. Like, this is clarification. And I know a lot of people like that because we hang around with a lot of people like that too. It's like, you're going above and beyond. Sometimes the the reciprocation may not be genuine, so just be careful. But yeah, guys. Obviously, I finished my drink early. Yeah. You're like a hungry? I'm turned and I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. No, no, I'm joking. Yeah. Drinks don't really. I don't really drink like that. Yeah. This is actually ginger ale. But um, what's the best drunk food Ooh. when you're turned up? It used to, for me, bro, back in the days when smokes spoutinery was a thing, yeah. right after a club. Bro, smokes. You put a lot Yo, of people on smokes for tea. I did. And I don't like to gas yeah. you up and say you put a lot of people on, yeah. but you used to always talk about it. Yeah. And you're, you're telling me how you and Jay were about to start a business Sox, with smokes. Sox. Uh If not that, like, oh, perfect Chinese. Perfect smokes. I think when you're drunk, Anything greasy. Yeah. 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 When you're drunk, fam. Or anything you can find. Yeah. At that time. At that time. Like ass and shit. 
I don't know what you're eating late night, but no, that's, that's not a drunk fuck. food I'm going to be eating. <laughs> <laughs> that, does that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> no, fam. I think the perfect. Can drunk, I get the ass special? Huh? He's like yeah. the perfect drunk. He's food? like just leave leave some brown inside for me. Jeez. The perfect drunk food, fam. <laughs> Oh my god No diddy. No diddy, no, no diddy, diddy. No diddy No diddy No diddy No I'm joking The perfect drunk food for me fam Is six piece chicken nuggets McDonald's Put into that sweet and sour sauce It's different That's the worst You guys know downtown Downtown has a lot of dope spots Thanks man <laughs> <laughs> Whoa we didn't know Canton chili yeah. Chinese late, food though Chinese food When you're late Late Chinese night Sp- Spadina in college That slaps That's a spot That's a spot I Canton mean the last three times we went That's where we were Yeah It slaps and they also, I feel like, yo, they have the food ready. They just have the food ready, wait for people to come. And all, my, up. And all my Scarborough people, they know perfect Chinese. Is yeah, but honestly. Perfect T-Bones. T-Bones. I went there Friday. Shout out, Sean. Happy birthday. Happy belated. Yo, happy, happy belated birthday to our to guy, guy, Sean. Sean for sure. Right. Right. Yo, shout out to my guy, Sean. Yeah, shout out to, to my guy. To uh, the Scotia Bank Arena, play some ball. Yeah, man. Shout, shout out to, shout out to uh, shout Mitherin. Mitherin. Yeah. Mitherin Real Estate. Real Check one. him out. Hillside Realty. Hillside Realty. Let's go. No, but for real though. Chinese, yeah, you can't go wrong with Chinese food. Yeah, yeah. Bro, the the fried rice, the chili chicken. That's it. That's all you the need. The fried chicken wings, though. Can't lie. That's part of the new. And the calamari. Yeah, the calamari. Calamari always oh, hits. God. Always. Drunk and you get the like chicken that, corn soup. I think um, slap the most. Or if you're at like a, a wedding reception or something and they have the midnight yeah. snack and then it's the kotroti. Mm. No, uh, fam. Honestly, after party, I thought you guys gave me a moment of silence because no, 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 that's for guys. No, no, Kotori. But we always wait for it. The drunk is yeah, crazy. Yeah. After Tamil parties, I think after Caribbean parties, the jerk chicken food truck oh, or the oh, or the consu oh after God, after Soka Fet Randy's. Yeah, yeah, after every Soka Fet, give, give me that consu. Pause. <laughs> Yo, this, no diddy. Yo, this guy said, "Give me that kung The Jamaicans are coming. <laughs> yeah, the Jamaicans go after this guy. This guy said, "Let me get that con soup." Yeah, but Jamaicans yeah, but don't have soup? the con soup. Fam. Who has a corn soup? The West Indians. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yo, by Soka Fets, Randy's. Yeah. Oh my oh god. My god. Jeez, Lord, just, fam, fam, tell them about the f- the the, the oh, food that we had. Geez. Crazy. Yo, the Zen, right? The Zen in Ajax. The best pepper wings in the city. In the city, fam. Jeez. That's oh where you guys went, right? Super elite. Super it was elite. So good. I'm so, I didn't, I, I wanted to try the the pepper shrimp, but this guy doesn't like seafood. Yeah. Uh, but even the fried rice slapped. What else did we have? We had barbecue jerk beef ribs. Yeah, short ribs. Yeah. Crazy yeah. too. Yeah. It was that, nice, man. But that's not junk food though. And then and the service out there is sick. The owner. Yeah. Super cool guy. Super classy. And like he asked us if we wanted shots at the end. I'm like, nah, fam, we're good. But yeah. thanks. Yeah. Great. Yeah, guy. but you you lived up to that expectation big time. But there's also Chungs in Brampton, super elite Yo, for yeah. Caribbean flex. You know what was a downfall recently? Yeah. And all TikTok's been blowing this spot up. Sumak? What's it called? Sumak? Shawarma? The Shawarma Grill, whatever. You went there recently, yeah. I yeah, went yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lined up for 30 minutes. You, oh, there was a lineup for it. 30 No, I ordered. Yeah. I did not, I was like, yo, this is a quick order. Like, yeah. it's kind of busy in here, but I ordered mad fast. Yeah. I go behind the guy. I'm like, yo, how long do you think you're going to be waiting? Because I want to use the washroom. Yeah. He's like, 30 minutes. I'm like, oh, wait, for real? He's like, yeah, you've never been here before? I'm like, no. He's like, yeah, the wait's about 30 minutes. It's I really thought he was joking. Yeah. I was kind of cheesed that he, he yeah, came yeah. off me a little weird. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, this guy's probably capping. It's Ramadan, fam. That's right? why. So like everyone, yeah, once the sun sets, they, they come, break, they yeah. come yeah. eat and stuff. Right? In, so. I'm there waiting for the sh- food. One, too much vegetables. Yeah. The chicken was not flavorful. It yeah. was fresh, not flavorful. The pita was good, but it was a little soggy sometimes. Did mm-hmm. you mean the bread? Yeah. Shout out to all our brothers and sisters doing Ramadan yeah. right now. Mashallah, for real. Mashallah. <laughs> what does that even mean? Beautiful. Mm-hmm. What does inshallah mean? God willing. God willing. So beautiful, on, God willing. Jeez, mm. this guy. You guys are Muslim friends, is it? Yeah, my my brother-in-law. Oh no! Is he? Yeah. Doing that right now? Yeah. So you found like so they feast all. I mean they fast all day. Yeah, they fast. Literally. And then when they the have to wait till the sun's down. You gotta wait till yeah. the then sun's they up. can body all the food, and then when the sun's yeah, but they, they don't even eat. body the food like that. Yeah, bro. It's, it's hard because your your stomach shrinks when you don't yeah. have food to to like help expand. Yeah, and everything. So that's crazy. they're eating. It might seem like they're eating a lot, but they're but it's not, yeah, yeah, it's really hard, man. Yeah. You think people can like die from that? No, man. No, no. If they were dying, they wouldn't be doing it. Yeah. Like, look at my boy Kyrie Irving. Bro. Yeah, bro. I just yo, was pan into that. Yo, yeah, that's great, come on, man. Yeah. Great minds think alike. Crazy. He's even going, yo, crazy. it's unlocking him. Man, and dunking. he's doing the Ramadan, so he's not even drinking yeah. water yo, while he's Ramadan, playing. Kyrie is tough. Wait, wait, what's the difference? What do you mean? Wait, Ramadan, you can't even have water? No water, no, no food, man, bro. Wait, bro, so you're telling me the whole day they can't have anything? Yeah. yeah. That is wild. Yeah, my boy Ashik yeah. did that too during yeah. practice at 6 a.m. Never Honestly, touch water. Man, shout yeah. out to you guys. Yeah, it's hard. Shout out to the the real ones that actually follow through because yeah, I know yeah. a lot of you guys out there. 
And I'm not saying names. Well, having cheat meals. Yeah. You guys, really, yeah. you guys are some different guys, but you do what you want to do. Allah will judge I you. I mean, as long as you do it for the right reasons, okay? Uh, whether you, you know, Yeah, you can't really knock a man for being Yeah, angry. it's hard. It's yeah. hard, right? Yeah. All um, I say is like, practice what you preach. Like, don't say, oh, like, oh, Ramadan, you got to do this and then go and yeah, do don't preach. Quite opposite. Don't preach. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I, I agree with don't you. Don't be a bad Muslim. But this is, this is a crazy question, guys. Right? Would you rather know when you're going to die? Sorry, I cut you. Or how are you going to die? Sorry, say that again. Would you rather know when you're going to die or how are you going to die? Yo, Loki, I want to know how so I can dodge that shit. I would rather know when. When? Trying to live it up to the max. Yeah. 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 No, I don't want to know when. I I feel like they both have their pros and cons. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you say... How, I don't how? want one because your fam. I don't want to live my life knowing when I'm gonna go, yeah. and then trying to rush everything. Like life is gonna play its course. Yeah, but what what if they say you, the way you're gonna die has to be water related? Then you're just gonna be scared of water your whole life. Yeah, I'm not gonna shower. How about if it's like you're gonna die of old age, or like how you're gonna die is of old age? Or does that change anything? I feel like then when, you're just living your regular life. Yeah, I feel yeah. like when it's a, a when it's a, example. Too. I feel like yeah, no, but like, I, but I feel like when it's <laughs> yeah. a when you can be like, okay, you're gonna die at this age. Yo, what if I'll they say like, this? Oh, okay. That's what that's what we're living yeah. right now. Yo, yeah. fam, what if they say this? You're gonna die. You, you're gonna dry. die. You're gonna die when you're drunk. Holy shit! Yeah, you, you gotta quit drinking immediately. <laughs> no yeah. one's yeah. drinking, yeah. fam. Yeah. yeah, cold turkey. I feel like when all those aspects come into it, that's why like I don't believe in like fortune tellers and stuff like that, because like I feel like you they know, they, man, they, man, they guide man, you man, in a path in in a way where your mind. I never doesn't believe change. that stuff, man. How about you? Yeah. My parents believe in that. Do? Yeah. Uh, tough question, but I'm probably gonna go the way uh, Casper went. Yeah. How? how are you gonna die? Yeah. How? Kind of kind of gives you a moment to kind of readjust we're, your life. And we're gonna see. knock on wood. Knock on wood. Uh, but it's a, I mean, yeah. it's it's a question. What's written is written, man. Yeah. Like, I mean, when it's your, when it's your time, it's your time. Yeah, it's your time. Right? That's how I look That's at it. So you better enjoy Yo, it. Shout out to my guy, Raj. He said, when it's time to go, it's time to go. Exactly. Shout out, Raj. My jokes. Jeez. No, but you know what's one thing else that I was thinking about, too? Yeah. You've been thinking about a lot of things. I actually kind of forgot. That's you're, cool. think, you're thinking a lot of someone that didn't finish high school. Yeah. I mean, you're thinking a lot for you someone that doesn't know what he was thinking school. about. Yeah. yeah. Yo, y'all don't make me pull out my high school degree, eh? Yo, but guys, what do you think? Mine has my grades on it. Does yours? Jeez. Yo, I'll compare grades. I bet you're beating you in every category. What do you guys think about the car theft in the city? The what? The car theft. Why don't we just give them, like, hand this in the golden Yo, honestly, the car theft got so bad. At this point, I just told them I left the car, pumped full tank, (laughs) just so they can get to their destination. Yeah. And told them, take it and go. I mean, the the fact that the, the city is telling us to leave the keys in the... Yeah. At the, at the front of the house, yeah. so they could just have easy access because that's what they're coming in for. Yeah. It's it's actually it, ridiculous. It's reckless, because but they're also like they can like further like you know when they break into the house like people get harmed. Whereas yeah, they don't the, want people to yeah, die. Like, like I get yeah. where they're coming from, but like but it makes dumb. no sense. It makes no sense. What if everyone just left their keys in the front? Might as well just leave it in the freaking engine and in the car and then let them take it. At that exactly. point, like start yo, your car, like, bro. The, the amount of things that's happening right now, yo, bro. They're they're saying people are flying in from like Montreal, BC. For a week yeah. to steal cars and they go back. And they, and they drive yeah. it back to the... They don't drive it back. They fly into the city. Yeah. Jam it. Jam put it in it. containers. Yeah. Yeah. And, f- and, and flip it. People are coming from Europe, Africa. No, you idiot. Yeah, he's like... They're don't. literally coming here for two weeks. They're stealing as many cars as possible. Hand it over to whoever's running it. And they fly back to their country. So They're people lying. are paying That's guys crazy. to come from yeah. overseas to jam the whips. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in these containers. And then boom, cut. Like I think it's crazy. Count. I also think Toronto police isn't honestly doing enough because we're hearing stories where people are like, yo, hello, 911, my car's right here. It's I see it right in front of me. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about it. Yeah, yeah. sorry, ma'am. It has to be 24 hours yeah. before we can do something. Sorry, are you stupid? The car's right in front of me. It's tough, though, fam, because, yo, Toronto police is also very understaffed. Like, for them to, like, actually leave... You think they're like, understaffed? Yeah. For them to actually leave what they're doing and to come to a, to a car theft, which which is happening, but it's not a top priority for them. They don't How is it shit, not man. a top priority when almost that's the biggest tr- top priority right now? Cars are being stolen. Daily. Yeah, it's it's starting to become to get to that point. But like, imagine someone that's like dealing with the death or like an uh, active shooter yeah. or that situation. Yeah. Meanwhile, someone calls you. Oh, in that area, there's no other police. I mean, we have active shooters right? every three weeks. We yeah. have three hundred cars being stolen every day. day. Yeah, yeah I don't think they're taking it. Something. Yeah, yeah but that that comes down to the Toronto Police. People are property, being robbed right? with fam, gunpoint. Fam, it's true, fam. It's Bro, see, true. The region had its first shooting in how long? Since, what, 2017? No, it was, um, the last one was 2020. Yeah, for yeah. four years ago. Yeah. Bro, four years ago, cars were selling just as much. Yeah. yeah. 
Now it's just getting worse because they didn't stop it then. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they don't have a plan for it. There's not I enough think, resources. I though. think the other, uh, the other, in, like the other um, police officers, like Vaughn, like I think York Region, they're more into it. Yeah. They're actually doing raids and catching people. Yeah. But Toronto they're more active, okay. yeah. That's what I'm saying. They're understaffed, man. They, they, they don't utilize the Imagine resources. Imagine how properly, intru- so. did, like like. How can you be understaffed when I'm being taxed more than half my salary? It's crazy. Come on, man. Fact. It's make, crazy. Can we make oh more my sense god! Of this? Come on. Shout out to my brother-in-law. He's a cop too, but yeah. damn. Oh yeah. Crazy. Tell him, yo, fam. You just call your brother-in-law if so your car gets stolen. Yeah. He'll tell you, call me back. <laughs> call me back tomorrow when it's 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> they're yeah, like, man. it's not stolen unless it's actually stolen. Yeah. And I understand like insurance would take care of it, but I'm hearing stories where insurance is taking like a month and a half to people are rectify saying, the whole people, situation. This this is just conspiracy theories. Yeah. People are saying that they're working with insurance companies <laughs> to let these cars be stolen. I yo, you know what's a crazy Wait, thing what? I heard? Yeah. With, so car dealerships. Yeah. You buy a car off the lot. Yeah. they the dealerships are apparently putting trackers or whatever into yeah. the cars yeah. so that the thieves, the thieves can come. Can go with the the jam it. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. That's crazy. I heard about that. That's like, madness, man. Yeah, I heard about. Right. That. Uh, Be careful with your cars, man. Careful with your cars, uh, man. Like they're saying, how Toronto is so desk that like being honest and like good, yeah, is not getting you somewhere. Like okay. you can be a thief and steal all these cars, make more money, yeah. than someone that's normal. Like I said, you don't need school. Yeah. <laughs> they're turning. Just, just don't love your cars. Love is blind. <laughs> that was so sh- <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. For all was, you guys. You know what I was going to say? Yeah. The segue into it, I was going to be like, the police are blind. No, no. But you know what else is blind? <laughs> love. Love is blind, Toronto. <laughs> no, yo, but what honestly. What said is, like, let me touch on the love. <laughs> so now that you guys are here and we're talking about love is blind, I actually got casted. <laughs> you got casted? No, like I'm being serious. What happened? Like I'm, I got casted for love is blind. Did you actually? Yeah, no, I'm being dead serious. Yeah, you did. You like, I'm going to show you guys, yeah. Yeah. I think it's Love and Blind. Uh, Jeff now? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I, I think you guys think I'm joking. Yeah. Okay. I believe the email. Like, I, I got... Ca- no, I'm just joking. That's the, email. That's the email? No. no, no I, I obviously was, not, I was going to play along. You should have you should actually signed up. Yeah. No, nah, I need to know how she looks. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like... I'll be <laughs> sitting there like, yo, listen, man. I'll be sitting there like, yo... I, I, I thought you were going to be on the No Diddy version. <laughs> <laughs> That didn't make sense. Yeah, it did. Come on, bro. Just think about it. Oh, my God. But go ahead. Love is Blind. What's going on? I'm not even watching the show. No, so, yeah, for you guys who watch Love is Blind, it's a show, basically, where you go through this experiment where you don't see the other person. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. so it's like pretty much like a screen in between and you're you're talking. Yeah, 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 you're just talking to each other. And then now that it's... That show has recently had so much controversy with like people going on there to try to get famous. Yeah. yeah. Right? Going on there for the wrong reason. For the wrong reasons. Right? To try to get famous. And I then mean, if you're on a show like that, it's definitely the wrong reason. Yeah, exactly. No it doesn't there. feel no, authentic. But, but, That's why I feel like every every relationship, it could be I could be wrong. It feels like it's forced and it's like yeah. it's just still, for I think they're still like friends with their ass. Yeah. <laughs> you're, this guy is not gonna cast on that but, motherfucker. Yeah. You might actually get casted just so your story can play out. I'll be like the good cast it on cast away. I'll be like no, no. She, she, the first question she asked me, she's like, I, I know it's Love is Blind, but um, are you still friends with your ex? I'll be like, yeah. She'll be like, yep, next. Yeah. No, no, he'll be like, yeah. yeah. That, that was the worst. Yeah, the what? On, no, he, V-Man, V-Man would be like, yeah, honestly, man, I'm very open to whoever, however you look like, yeah. as long as you're okay with me being no, friends v- with my ex. No, no, V-Man would be like, so Love is Blind, what exactly do you mean by this? <laughs> He's like, do you, are you actually blind? <laughs> I'm legally blind. Are you actually in love? <laughs> He's like, I have, for you, love is love. For yeah. me, love is four different terms. Yeah. <laughs> For me, love means a whole lot of different things. Yeah. But yo, love means heck. But realistically, imagine, <laughs> imagine, <laughs> who brought this guy here today, bro? This guy, you're too. Yeah, give yeah, me this. Cut off. Yeah, you're oh, done. Cut off. You cut off with the ice. Yeah, yeah. No, no, done. but yo, but let me listen. To but like, song. imagine, Toronto man's going on that. Be like. What's wrong with her, man? I'm so like, catty. Yeah, eh? Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yo, uh, Mar- uh, what's his name? He's a Toronto comedian. He's doing Bear Spitana yeah, on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, wait, you're talking to that waste, man? What yeah. end is he from? Yeah. <laughs> so do you ball up? Nah, okay, okay. I see. Oh, so you're a good girl, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, but you know what? The funny, the funny part is Toronto version. I know we're going to see someone we know on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like one of these social media people yeah. are gonna be on this show. I promise you. Yeah. Would you be okay if your your girl was on Love Is Blind? <laughs> yeah, I'll just be like, I'm legally blind and leave it. <laughs> no, no, but but explain it. Man. He has four different versions of being on. So the she's show. not really on the show. 
You guys are dragging this. You guys are, dra- <laughs> you guys are dragging this. You guys are dragging this too much. Really we, co- we covered this situation. He's already, uh, coming up to uh, to the end of the episode, and we have a crazy question that you're going to be asking us. So the game we're going to play. Yeah. Pick two things. Cool. Okay. Bro, two fast, options. Man. Yeah. Hundred k, no mortgage, credit score of eight hundred. Um, thousand dollars a month. <laughs> What's the f- that's the first thing? Um, retire at forty. Okay. Like these are three like multiple different yeah. things. Retire forty and new car. You could only pick two things. No more get retire forty. I'm settled. Mm. That's not the same thing. What do you mean? They're two different things. Yeah. Two different like things. you could only pick two. You pick two out of the. Why would you say no What's mortgage? The first one? What's the first one? Why would you say no mortgage? Oh, out of all those things, you can only pick two. Yeah. Yeah. So this is why I told you guys go to university. <laughs> why would you? Why would no, you pick no mortgage? No mortgage, so I don't have any expense. Yeah. Uh, which, which yeah. is probably going to be eighty percent of your salary these days, right? And uh, retire at forty because I have no mortgage. I'm just chilling at forty. Come on, bro. I would pick a university degree. I would pick a. <laughs> that's that's a good one. <laughs> do you have a university degree? I do. Cap. Yo, but I would pick a hundred k, and retire at forty. Hundred k and retire at forty. Fair. What about you? Can you? Yeah. My best. <laughs> No mortgage, retire 40. Yeah. I feel like we all made logical choices. Really? Great choices. They're all great choices. Yeah. No mortgage, retire 40? Yeah. I think that's good too. Yeah. Why would you say 100K? Wait, wait. Depends when you say no mortgage. No, no. Come on. Now you sound like him. Depends when you say mortgage. Like guys. Here. Like whatever creepy Thank you so bike. much. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. So we can argue about this all day, but we're out. Gang, gang, gang. Episode we 7. Out. Let's go. Episode Yo, seven. Gang, gang. stay in school. I know I said don't stay in school, but. <laughs> no, you didn't say that. You just said other things but that. Don't stay in school. Let's have like, subscribe, follow, all that. <laughs> we don't need them more. Like, subscribe, follow, comment, if, if, comment. If, if, you, if you guys know Drake versus Future, Drake's gonna body Future. Just letting you guys know now. Drake's back. You heard it here first. Get in Drake. Drake and Drake goes, man. Back to back. Peace.